Have you ever wondered what sets a traction induction motor apart from an industrial induction motor? Well, buckle up because we are about to take you on a thrilling ride into the world of motor technology. I'm here to unravel the mysteries and showcase the unique features that make traction induction motors a powerhouse of innovation. So sit back, relax, and let us deep dive into the heart of these magnificent machines. The traction motor of locomotive is responsible for converting electrical energy to mechanical energy in such a way that the vehicle is propelled to overcome aerodynamic drag, rolling resistance drag, and kinetic drag. Some engineers and even researchers may consider traction motor similar to industrial motor. However, traction motors usually require frequent start-stop, high rate of acceleration and deceleration, high torque, low speed hill climbing, low torque, high speed cruising, and very wide speed range of operation, whereas industrial motors are generally optimized at rated conditions. Thus, traction motors are so unique that they deserve to form an individual class. Hence, the general requirements of traction motors are significantly different from those of industrial motors. To understand the difference better, let us understand their application. For example, for temporary acceleration and hill climbing, traction motors need to offer the maximum torque that is 4 to 5 times of the rated torque, while industrial motors generally offer the maximum torque that is twice of the rated torque for overload operation. Now being locomotive application, traction motors need to achieve four to five times the base speed for cruising, while industrial motors generally achieve up to twice the base speed for constant power operation. From the functional point of view, a traction motor system can be divided into two parts electrical and mechanical. The electrical part consists of the subsystem of stator, whereas the mechanical part is the rotor. The boundary between electrical and mechanical part is the air gap of the motor, where the electromechanical energy conversion is taken place. This air gap is almost 0.5 mm to 2 mm, depending on motor design. This has a lot of impact on the traction motor because of changing load condition, vehicular vibration, power transmission system, and wear condition of the locomotive wheel. Whereas an industrial motor is mostly subjected to changing load condition. Traction motors demand both high power density and good efficiency map, which means high efficiency over wide speed and torque range for the reduction of total vehicle weight and extension of driving range. While industrial motors generally need to compromise among power density, efficiency and cost with the efficiency optimized at the rated operating point. Locomotives desire a high controllability, high steady state accuracy and a good dynamic performance for which multiple motor coordination is essential. While only special purpose industrial motors desire such performance. Locomotives are meant for outdoor operation, which means they operate in an environment with changing temperature, humidity, solar radiation, dust, pollution, and vibration. So the traction motors also need to operate in such harsh operating conditions. Whereas industrial motors are generally located in fixed places. From locomotives to electric vehicles, traction induction motors are the driving force behind some of the most cutting edge technologies of our time. Their versatility, efficiency and reliability make them a top choice for engineers and innovators looking to push the boundaries of what is possible. So the next time you see a high speed train whizzing or an electric vehicle silently cruising down the road, remember that is to thanks to the incredible power of traction induction motors. And there you have it folks. The secret behind 
what makes traction motor so special in comparison to the induction motor. So until next time, stay curious, stay innovative and keep pushing the limits of what technology can achieve. Thanks for joining me on this thrilling journey into the world of motors. Please like, subscribe and comment on my video. See you in the next video. Thank you.